Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the HTML image element. The HTML image element allows us to incorporate images into our websites. The HTML image element is a self-closing element, it means it doesn't have an ending tag and it doesn't have any kind of content. So let's dive right in, but before diving into our lecture, you need to keep in mind that I've inserted a rabbit.jpg file here, and I've also provided you with another folder here that says images which we're going to use. Now, there are quite a few ways of uh, inserting images into your own uh, web page. The first one we are going to cover is if the HTML element file, the HTML file, and the image file, they are in the same folder. If their directory is the same, so how can you insert them? First, you need to write the image element. It is going to have two default uh, uh, attributes. We're going to talk about both of them. So the source attribute points to where the image is actually stored. So uh, in our first two examples, we are going to talk about local images. Case one, local image in the same directory. Case two, local image in different directory. By directory, I mean a folder. It's like a fancier name. So if it is in the same directory and it is local, what you need to do is you just have to write the name and the extension of the image, what type of an image it is. In this case, it is a JPEG. So if you just hit enter, now this source is going to refer to that. The alt attribute, this is going to provide more information about the image. This information will not be seen on the web page uh, if the image is shown. If for some reason, this image is not shown on our web page, then we are going to see this information. So I'm going to say this is the image of a rabbit. So rabbit. Let me just lowercase this H as well. There we go. So if I just go ahead and if I save it, you're going to see that rabbit in here as well. Now, this is a very large image. That is why you can see that it's, it's, we have horizontal scroll bar, we have vertical scroll bar, because this is a large image, and I've zoomed out to 25%. So if I reset it, you're going to see it's a very big image. The reason for this, for, for this happening is because HTML images, and the images that you provide in your website, um, they are going to have all images on the internet, every image that you can see on this planet, it has a specific aspect ratio. Aspect ratio basically says how many pixels there are vertically and how many pixels there are horizontally. If you don't change those, it is going to have that specific aspect ratio. Sometimes the aspect ratio is greater than our own web page, which in this case it is. Sometimes it is smaller than our web page, depending on how many pixels there are within that image. So we are not going to talk about that more. We are going to be able to manipulate this aspect ratio with CSS, but not for now. So this is an inline um, a local, local, I'm going to comment this on out, local, same directory, just, to, just so you can have a better um, resource if you come back to it in the future. The second one is local, different directory. And how can we provide a, a path for that? So if it is in a different directory or in a different folder, the first thing that you need to provide is the name of that folder. So I'm going to say images. Now, when you say, um, yeah, it is images. And after you have provided the name of the folder, you need to provide the forward slash. When you do the forward slash, all the content, doesn't matter if there are images, all of the content will be shown by, by this pop-up. So you can choose, we have six images here. One is PNG, five of them are JPEG. You can use whichever you want. I'm gonna use this dog image. You can see how this is different, this source attribute, than this one. I'm gonna say this is a dog image. Let's save this. And if I come here, and if I come here, you can see that because this image is smaller in, in aspect ratio than this one, that's why it looks smaller. It has less pixels than this one. This is a larger one, this is a smaller one. So this is, uh, both of these images were local. Now you might think, okay, what about online images like from free websites like Pixabay, like Pixels or whatever. 
So you can also provide online images to your websites as well. So I'm going to say online. For that, we are going to have the same element. Don't worry about that. It's going to be the same. So in the source attribute, you need to provide the URL for that image. There we go. So this is the URL for that image. And I'm just going to write burden. I'm not going to provide a description for it. You should technically provide a description for it. And when I save it, this image is actually an online image. Where is its source? It is basically grabbed from pixabay.com. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.